Dogopolov with a blistering backhand to the corner. The dog. Johnson playing out of his mind. First, the incredible slice, followed by the fantastic forehand. What did they put in this guy's Gatorade? Ooh, that might have caught him right in the gearbox. That's what I call a body serve. This memo just in from network programming, Radek Stepanek will not be appearing on Dancing with the Stars. Nick Kyrgios in the end zone, touchdown! What a spike! Sock going brilliantly between the legs, then buries a routine forehand into the net and shoots a look to say, what just happened there? Yoshi Nishioka, Yoshi Nishioka, Yoshi Nishioka, Yoshi Nishioka. Your turn. Check out the intensity, the focus, the desire. It's the same way I look at a plate of ribs. Six foot eight inch Kevin Anderson shoots his 6'11 opponent a look to say, come on man, pick on someone your own size. British fans on their feet. And if the Queen saw it, Andy Murray may just get knighted for that passing shot. Is it me or are these Olympic ball boys not quite as motivated as their ATP counterparts? Second serve. Maddox Sands, great touch at the net. These young Americans will be playing for gold. Welcome to the Emirates Airlines US Open Series. From Atlantic Station, this is the BB&T Atlanta Open. It's an ATP 250 World Tour event. And the competitors today, a Wiley veteran versus a Riley upstart. That's 18-year-old American wildcard Riley Opelka versus Kevin Anderson of South Africa. And the winner of today's second round match will earn a quarterfinal bid and go on to play another American, the winner of Tim Smichek and Donald Young in a match to be played just after this one. Players all week long have been battling heat Today will be no different. The temperature on court will be in excess of 100 degrees. The only upside, the skies are clear and there's a 0% chance for rain in the forecast. So we will be playing tennis today in Atlanta. 18-year-old Riley Opelka got his first ATP Tour level win earlier this week. Kevin Anderson, however, struggling mightily in 2016 with injuries. He's seen his ranking fall from number 10 to number 25 but he'll be looking to regain that top 10 form today against the youngster. Up 5-3 in the third, Anderson will try and serve this match out. His first service percentage today has been pretty dismal, below 50%, and that's just not gonna get it done for him. Rips that one into the net. Typically, Anderson has to be up around 65, 70% for that serve to work as a weapon and for him to be successful. Nowhere near that today. And Opelka sends that one wide. Nice rally by the kid. Had some good shots, but looks like he went for just a little bit too much on that last forehand. Anderson having a very difficult 2016, suffering and plagued by all kinds of injuries. Last October, Anderson reached his career high best ranking at number 10, then suffered a knee, shoulder, and ankle injury. Oh, sends that one wide. Anderson got exactly what he wanted there. Nice serve down the tee. Stretched Opelka out on the return, got a short ball, and then just fired the forehand wide. As I mentioned, Anderson has been snake bitten with all kinds of injuries and has had to withdraw from two tournaments this year. Finally had a good week last week in Toronto. And back-to-back -back on forced errors. Now Riley Opelka, the 18-year-old out of Palm Bay, Florida, has a little bit of an opening. 15:30. This match approaching the two and a half hour mark. And temperature on court in excess of 100 degrees. Anderson continues to struggle on the first serves. Up. 
Whoa! That uh, that ball ended up in an interesting place. Opelka's okay though. He's walking it off. Let's wait to get another look at that to see what happened. And oh, hello, <laughs> Yowza! That's what I call a body serve, ladies and gentlemen. Unfortunately for Anderson, it was out. And now Opelka has two break points. Opelka only two for eleven in breaks today. He could desperately use one right now to tighten this matchup. Another good serve by Anderson right down the tee. Opelka had to reach for it. Anderson got the short ball by that time. Opelka was 10 feet behind the baseline and just sprayed that forehand wide. He still has another chance though at break. Anderson had a good week last week in Toronto, beating Viktor Troitsky and world number 22, Australian Bernard Tomic. Trying to return to that winning form. Mr. First serve long again, Anderson will challenge. I think this is more of a challenge on hope rather than belief. That ball looked like it was well back. And indeed, three to four inches out there. And Opelka on break point will get a look at a second serve. Beautiful combination by Anderson. That's Kevin Anderson tennis right there. Serve out wide and then drilling the forehand behind Opelka. Always a good idea with a big player to go behind them once they get that momentum moving in one direction. It's hard to turn that train around, and Anderson making a nice play to send this back to Deuce. Second serve. Oh, Riley just sending that one wrong. He looked like he was tapping his head with his racket like that was some kind of mental mistake and you can see him muttering to himself and not happy at all with that effort and now Kevin Anderson with his first match point Let's see if he can capitalize sends another first serve into the net Anderson only has one first serve in in this long game Nice return by Opelka. You could see Anderson never got his feet set. Kind of hit that one off the back foot, swept at the ball, and drove it six inches beneath the tape. Never a really good effort there. Back to Deuce. And another missed first serve. Remember the last time I've seen Anderson serve so poorly. And Riley sends that one long too. Could be a little uh, bit tight. This is a big match for him. He won his first ATP, ATP Tour level event earlier this week against Chris Eubanks, but the kid has played with outstanding composure. And regardless of what happens here, match point number two. He's got to be proud of his performance this week. First serve. That's a let. Anderson will get another first serve. Second match point. Anderson desperately wants to close this one out and get off the court. And again, Kevin Anderson getting cross-footed there on the return by Riley Opelka. It was a good return, but Nothing extraordinary, and Kevin just looked like he couldn't get his feet untangled and made a very, very unusual swing. Back to Deuce. Oh, great play by Opelka. When you have a big man at the net, 
They love to stretch out, get those arms extended, reach for those forehands, reach for those backhands, make a good stab. But Opelka making a very smart play, going right at Anderson there, jamming him, never able to get that racket out in a place where he could hit the ball, and he shot Opelka a look there. Opelka with another break point. This is the third of the game. He is now two for 13. Great shot by Anderson. Very gutsy. I'm not sure he intended that one to be that good. Normally you want to keep it six inches to a foot inside those lines. And whoa, that one was close. But a beautiful swing. And we're back to Deuce. And his first service struggles continue. Only two first serves in this entire game. Oh, that was a good return. He put it right at Anderson's feet. Anderson drops the racket in disgust. Some would argue that might be fatigue, but I think he's just upset at himself for his footwork struggles in this game. That's the third time that he's looked awkward hitting one of Opelka's returns. Break point. Oh, and Anderson sends this one long. Opelka breaks him. 5-4 now, Anderson. And he has got to be shaking his head after that game. Horrendous first serve percentage and a couple of forehands that he wished he had back. <laughs> 